Hey guys, welcome to the 70k Q. Uh, no. Hi guys, welcome to the 70k QA. Thank you all so much for watching and enjoying my videos. It makes me so happy to see that 70k of, of you enjoy them. I still can't believe it sometimes. Without further ado, let's get into the questions. A great question to start us off. To be completely honest, I wanted to do a Q&A for a while. I thought it would take too long to reach 100k for me, so I decided to make one now. Also, 70k is a huge milestone for me, so of course I'd want to do something special for my amazing fans. As a F2P, first one of course. I can get 5 stars immediately and save my primogems for fragile resins to get better artifacts. Either way, I don't mind having just okay artifacts. My first 5 star and DPS was Kacheying. I don't use her much nowadays but I'm trying to farm more EM artifacts so I can play her again. It's going bad so far but I'll get there. Hopefully. Thanks, and you have a good day too. Anyway, I really like the lore behind Khan Ria. As for the sustainer, if you're talking about the unknown god, maybe I'll add her as a one-time character in the future. Ooh, oh, I like this question. If we're talking visually, then I'd say Raiden Shogun, Mona, and Nuvelet for Genshin, and Kafka, Jingliu and Imbibita Luni for Star Rail. Some games I've played are Niko Atsum Kitty Collector, the first two Danganronpa games and Doki Doki Literature Club. Aside from drawing, I like writing as well. This doesn't count gameplay. Favorite has got to be Fosar Law. She's so bratty and such a loser. I love her. I've never seen a Genshin character with a personality remotely like hers. Also, her design is super pretty. As for least favorite, not counting Alloy because I don't know anything about her, Mika, I guess. I'm not the biggest fan of his design or personality. Please don't come for me Mika stands. Fosar Law. I've saved over 15,000 Prima so far including the free wishes, so wish me luck. For Genshin you know already, for Honkei Star Rail, you also probably know already. As mentioned before, I am a free to play, so none. For now. My favorite element in Genshin is Electro, and my favorite Electro character is probably Silo. It used to be Keking. But Sino's TCG obsession and bad puns won me over. Fischl may be a close second. For Star Rail, it's imaginary and the character is Imbibita Lune. For Twitter or texting videos, usually a week when I spread the word. For animatics, I can finish it in one day if I'm motivated, but usually it takes less than a week. Honestly, I can't remember the exact reason, but I do know my sister and a very cool ad was involved. Axolotl. They were inspired by Gone Times and Suki Dudes Hunter x Hunter and Haikyuu Twitter videos. I had so much fun watching those. At the time I wasn't into Genshin. But after I started playing, I thought, hey, nobody's done a full series with Genshin Twitter before, so that started this. I hope I can get as good as them one day.
noodles. Doesn't matter what kind. I love all noodles. It's not a very exciting reason, but here we go. My sibling made a channel and I thought it looked fun so I made one too. Listen I told you it's not exciting, but it is probably the best decision I've ever made, and I don't regret it at all. I've always wanted to visit Italy. Or, where do I start? If I had to say one then shall. He didn't deserve that enslavement, or loss of all his friends, or and suffering from karmic debt. I wanna give him a hug. Just a few of them are gone time. Tsuki Du, Imirichu, Ayanime, and Ramune. New Villette. You already know my favorite food. This might be a surprise given the colorful videos and YouTube banner but my favorite color is black. Don't laugh. I really like the chasm event. I wasn't here for it, but if I could say events I haven't done, then unreconciled stars. Admittedly I don't know every piece of law, so it's hard for me to say, but in my opinion, some of the darkest I can think of right now are Chows and Wanderers. Thank you so much. I've always wanted to start making animatics again, so expect to see more of them in the future. Something I've been wanting to try again was animation memes since they're so fun to make, but I don't have much time for them. If you guys do want to see animation memes again, let me know. It may take a while to do if I start doing them again, but I think it'd be worth it. As for Twitter content, I might start doing Honke Star Rail variants. I do want to make more Star Rail content but I haven't been caught up on it lately. So I don't feel confident that I'd make accurate content for it. Genshin Twitter will stay of course. But do expect to see more texting videos and Honke Star Rail in the future. What a good question. Um. My favorite is probably. Chow and Traveler.